Gemini, welcome to your reading on how are they feeling about you. We're going to take a deep dive look into that. And this will be between now and the end of the month, but technically it's timeless. So right now there's a little bit of noise in the background. Bailey's eating her dinner. So if you hear the clanking of her metal bowl, my apologies. So welcome. I'm Kimmy. Very happy to have you here at the channel. If you are a VIP or a subscriber, I truly value them, value you. Those of you that are repeat viewers would love for you to subscribe. And if you're brand new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also share these videos out with your friends and family. Those that might be in need of it. All right, let's see what we got going on for you, Gemini. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Spirit, please give us a look at what's going on between Gemini and their person of interest so that I have some background story. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, Gemini. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Eight of Swords, Page of Swords. Who's spying on who? <laughs> Are you spying on them? Are they spy spying on you? Now, when I say spy, like, it's cyber. It's not cyber stalking. It's more like, hey, I haven't heard from Jane Doe. Why, why not? Is there somebody else in her midst? Let me go see what they're doing on Instagram. Let me see what they're doing on Facebook. Let me look at this. Let me look at that. So, or John Doe, you know, it doesn't matter. This is worries and fears of our own making because you saw something online that made you concerned that either your person wasn't, a, wasn't interested in you or made them concerned that you weren't interested in them. May have been some concern about whether or not there was other people. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. There's literally... There is literally somebody here worried about whether or not you're sleeping with somebody else or <laughs> you're worried that they're sleeping with somebody else. Literally, we have the Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords. Let me, let me clear this up right now. <laughs> Eight of Swords is worries and fears of our own making. So whether that's you or whether that's your person, it's worries and fears that are unfounded in fact. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. So we have some jealousy. That's all right, just means you care. Just means they care. But it's also sometimes insecurity. <laughs> all right, so Queen of Wands. Now I see why somebody's jealous. Somebody's standing in Queen of Wands energy. Seven of Coins, the Moon, uh, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Sun, three more, Judgment, four, the Hierophant, I almost called it the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. All right, so, and, and the devil. Okay, let me set my timer. Hold on. Okay, so, Gemini. <laughs> we got a little bit of a rough situation going on. We totally have jealousy. Absolutely, positively. Obsessive jealousy. Why? Why is there obsessive jealousy? <laughs> because somebody's hot. Somebody's looking good, somebody's hot, somebody's attracting some attention, somebody's feeling a strong magnetic pull, somebody has a deep passion for another person, they don't want to share, <laughs> they are very enamored by this person. There's also love here. Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. It may have all started out with physical passion, physical attraction, a desire for sexual connection. And then it turned into love. 
but not just any kind of love, the kind of deep long-term love where somebody sees a potential future with the other person. But there's been some sort of lack of communication or lack of connection or somebody's been focused on something else, right? They could have been focused on work. They could have been focused on, you know, anything really. They may just be focused on themselves. Not to sound egoic about this card, but this particular person may have just needed to take a break from life for a little bit to just daydream and chill and, you know, overcome some life junk, you know? Looks more like they're trying to decide on something, trying to make some sort of judgment call about something. Could be related to career here, seven of coins, finances, their home. I see, Gemini, that you and your person of interest have invested time and energy into one another. And because of the time and energy that's been invested in one another, somebody is frightened that they are going to lose the other person to someone else. That could be you being frightened of that. That could be your person being frightened of that. We have the Hierophant here. In this particular case, I feel that it does not matter what your current status is between you and your person of interest. I feel that this is simply showing that there's been time and energy put into this, this relationship, no matter what stage it is, right? The moon. Somebody feels like there's something they can't see going on behind the scenes here. They're spending a li little bit too much time, too much time worrying about what the other person's saying or doing. And there's worry. We have the yin and yang. We have soulmates. We have the masculine and the feminine energy. A soulmate romantic love. Somebody's got deep feelings. They feel happy with you, Gemini. You feel that way with them. But these deep feelings are getting the best of somebody. These are feelings that have not been expressed. They're being repressed. And as a result of that, somebody doesn't know where they stand. So there's some fear and there's some jealousy here. And it's becoming obsessed. Session. All right. So signs I see on the board, people cards, we have Pisces and Aries. We have Cancer, Pisces, and Gemini. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Major Arcana, Pisces, Cancer. Leo. Taurus, Scorpio. We also have, uh, in additional energies, we have Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Gemini. And Capricorn, my apologies, with the devil. Whew. Wow, what a doozy. Okay, jealousy because of physical passion somebody's hot and the other person's worried and um and there's love here so let's see how this person feels about you we already know they love you so let's see what kind of feelings they're going through because we already know they love you it came out what feelings is gemini's person of interest dealing with at present we already have seen in the cards that this person loves Gemini. All right, are we ready? Wow, they're like smacking down. <laughs> the cards are smacking into their piles. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's like in their mind going, Ch -ch 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 -ch. All right, let's see. Three of Wands. They're trying to be patient and wait on you. 
There's, see, they're the one in the worry. This is interesting, Gemini. They're the one in the worry. If the worry and fear is you, then they know you're in worry and fear. Page of Cups. Page of Swords. No, it's them. It's them. It's them. Six of Cups. Could be both of you. Five of Cups. King of... Nope. Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups. A lot of Cups, I'm telling you. Four of Cups. So, of this spread, seven... Oh, I'm sorry. Six of the nine cards are cups, and we have cups on the bottom. Two of cups. So definitely could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They all three are showing up here, as well as Aries and Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Plain and simple, like there's no sugarcoating what I'm seeing. We have somebody who is madly in love with you, Gemini. Like they haven't told you, they haven't told you at all. You have this beautiful connection with them. It's this, this wonderful bond, right? Emotional bond, physical bond, spiritual bond. You hear me say it all the time. <laughs> beautiful bond between you and this person. They love you, plain and simple. They want to tell you that they love you with the Knight of Cups. But they're afraid to tell you anything more than, hey, I like you, Gemini. Yeah, we're having fun together. Isn't it great? It's fabulous, but internally they're having the struggle. There's a fear that the love is unrequited. There's a fear that, that you don't feel the same way towards them. There's a worry that you don't wear, you don't feel the same way as them. Now, Gemini, this can always be vice versa. You know, maybe, maybe that's your energy right here at the center of everything. Your person is daydreaming about the future. They're ready to put anything in the past behind them because you make them happy. You bring them happiness. But those worries and fears are getting the best of them because of something they've seen, something that's been said, something that's been seen. Fears and worries are getting the best of them, but they're trying to be patient. Three of Wands. This person really has a whole lot of emotions for you, Gemini. All right, let's see what the challenge is other than their jealousy. <laughs> you might be the challenge, Gemini. <laughs> let's see, what is the challenge in this connection between Gemini and their person of interest? The challenge. Wow, Knight of Cups and Justice. Interesting because this equates to what Spirit was giving me at the time that these cards came out. And I'm gonna be putting them back in the deck and doing another shuffle because this will only apply to a few of you, not all of you. Um, with this Knight of Cups and the Justice card, I was getting a message that there's somebody in between the two of you, there's a third party. That won't be for everybody, but that will be for some. There is one of you out there watching that is dealing with a married person, somebody who is married and you cannot express your feelings of love towards your person. That won't be for you. That'll be for the cross watcher more than likely, Gemini. Or it could be you. All right. They may be married and unable to tell you how they're feeling about you. All right, the challenge, please. All right, Gemini, we have the Nine of Wands, the Devil, the Knight of Coins, Five of Cups, the Temperance card, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, wow. Wow, okay, Death card. 
Somebody needs to leave something behind. Now, what it is that they need to leave behind with this death card, some of you, it's a codependency. Somebody may be dealing with an addiction. That needs to be left behind if that's the case. For others of you, it could be literally a codependency on each other that needs to be broken. It needs to be broken because we definitely see that that is a potential problem. We saw that that was an issue with this, this jealousy factor that your person has, right? For others of you, it will be needing to leave some burdens behind that have been dealt with either by you or by your person been through the battle, been through the war, really kind of having a struggle. For others of you, it will be leaving behind a regret, some sort of regret, some sort of feeling of loss. Somebody in this connection is not showing patience towards the other. There's like a, a very impatient combative energy is what I'm getting with the nine of wands temperance there. And there's a need for someone to express what it is that they're truly wanting and they're wanting long-term love and commitment but they're not expressing it the reason they're not expressing it is because they feel a need to go slow when it comes to love which is perfectly okay it's perfectly okay for you gemini or this person but the issue is is it seems to be um, that if this toxic element is not dealt with the rest of it doesn't matter. You can love somebody like till, you know, the end of your days. And if they refuse to, to release a codependency, there's nothing you can do about it. And that could be, like I said, that dependence on you. There needs to be interdependence in this connection where the two of you can be independent within a connection, right? You don't necessarily have to be up each other's behind. <laughs> on a daily basis, right? You know, so you've got somebody here who um, is really struggling with some intense jealousy and insecurity issues. Um, so that could be you or that could be your person, Gemini. So I wish I could put that in a better way, but you got something that needs to be dealt with. All right, and it may not be dealt with well. So let's see what the advice is for you on this. Right, spirit what is your advice to gemini regarding this connection and these challenges with this person of interest okay they want me to stop right here seven of coins can't knight of swords page of cups the third time this devil has decided to show his face the four of swords the queen of swords all right gemini you're gonna need to okay let me explain what's happening here okay seven of cups the two three of swords and the star in order for you to have harmony you may be letting this person go. Timer done, sorry about that. <laughs> In order for you to have harmony, you may be letting this person go. The sort of toxic behavior that we have from this person is combative, it's argumentative, it's why were you there, why did you go here? You know, um, it, it, it's combative, it's cutting. This is negative in, in its current position. It's causing a sense of confusion. There's no peace here. This is not a person who's trying to compromise with you. This is a person who wants to stay in their toxic energy. Um, if you have somebody who is constantly being combative and telling you that you're, you're doing wrong, it may be affecting the other relationships in your life as well. You may start to see that the other relationships in your life, you may feel as if they're doing the same thing, right? It's an, it's an overwhelming energy. And so 
we have heartbreak here, but we do have healing. We have a sense of confusion. Talk to me about this tower. Yeah, it's like, so Page of Swords came out again, but in, in your particular story, the Page of Swords is is somebody who's, um, you know, wanting, wanting to know your every move, right? Wanting to know who you're talking to, what you're doing, you know, um, continual energy of that. Yeah, yeah, combative, combative, see, combative. It's like you have somebody who's arguing with you, wanting to wanting to really kind of see every single little detail of your life. Where did you go? Who did you talk to? Why didn't you call me back at 6 p.m.? You should have called me back at 6, you know? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And so you're about ready to be massively quizzed even more by this person because this person has no sense of independence. They don't know how to be alone. And so whoever this is has not quite learned the lesson of how to be alone. They're afraid that you're going to leave, but yet they're pushing you out the door. They're, it's like they're shoving you out the door with their fears and insecurities and um, difficult behavior. <laughs> Anything, spirit, from this deck that could be helpful. Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this does not match your reading. <laughs> All right. Gemini, we're going to go low. The cards I got do not match your reading at all. They apparently have to do with somebody else. So, um, they're very, they're very up. They're very upbeat. They're very happy. It says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So it's not the person you're, that, you know, is causing you all this grief. We also have worth waiting for and engagement. Your love life is moving to a higher level of commitment. I don't think your love life is moving to a higher level of commitment with a breakup. With a breakup shakeup. Let's see who this other person is. Don't you don't you tell the other signs I did this, Gemini. Alright? <laughs> Even though they're gonna notice that your reading is much longer than usual. But you got somebody here you're waiting on. It's almost like you don't care. You don't care what this other person does because you're waiting on somebody else. Hold on. It's sort of like, yeah, okay, you know, throw your little fit, throw your hissy fit. When you get tired of doing it, you know, don't don't let the door hit you in the in the AR and <laughs> the ASS, you know. It's like just go ahead and go already. I got somebody else over here I'm waiting on. Let's look at that. All right. Now note, engagement doesn't mean you're getting engaged. It means that your uh, your status is changing in some way. An elevation of a status of a relationship. Worth waiting for it. Somebody you're waiting on. Very soon, it's like, it's almost like you have to decide between this one that's causing you grief and the one you're waiting on. If that makes sense. All right. Who's this person that Gemini is waiting on? Tell you what, it's not. It's not the devil person. Because <laughs> that went flying on the floor. It is not that person. So it's not the person that, that um, just fell on the floor. Okay. Who's this person that Gemini is waiting on? Okay. 
So we're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Virgo, Oh yeah, no, this is the one you want. So interesting. So Gemini, I'm taking it, you've got more than one person. And you've got one person who's driving you up the wall, totally batty. And then you have another person that you're trying to get clear on. Which is why you have very soon, very soon, clearly decide what you want. Tell me about this person that Gemini is waiting on. Look, and it's almost like you're waiting for the breakup with the current one. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like you're waiting on the breakup with this. I don't know why I'm getting mousy. <laughs> Is it a mousy person? You know, somebody who's... Um, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So, Gemini, I see you deep in thought, deep in thought about this, this individual that's showing up, right? Contemplating it, contemplation, contemplating this person. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Page of Cups, somebody you have feelings for, but you're not expressing it. You're kind of keeping it keeping it held back. Ace of Swords, some sort of communication from this person about, you know, reciprocity. It's like the two of you are on the same page. You're acting in the same way. You're, you're giving to the connection in the same way. You're, um, you know, treating each other with respect, love, and care. And we have justice. There's a desire for long-term commitment with this person. Now, once again, cover up the engagement word because that scares the daylights out of everybody, right? It's more or less a movement towards something more stable for the two of you. However, you are dealing with somebody argumentative. You're dealing with strife from another individual. Waiting on this individual to like hit the door, hit the high road and, and get going out of your life, right? Constant arguing, constant disagreement, constant, you know, text of everything you're doing wrong sort of thing. And you feel stuck in this situation. Like you can't get yourself out of this situation for some reason. What they don't know. <laughs> what they don't know, Gem Gemini. <laughs> What you have not revealed to this person that's, that's being combative and argumentative and accusatory is that you're waiting on somebody else. Worth waiting for, you're waiting on somebody else with the seven of coins. Somebody who's your wish, your dream, your hope. Somebody who's <clears throat> checks off all the boxes. Somebody you have a strong physical attraction to. And you are ready to take action towards them. Or they are ready to take actions, action towards you. How does this person feel about Gemini? Could be a high priestess person. Um, Pisces, Cancer. How does this person feel about Gemini? Oh boy. There's love here, Gemini. I'm gonna leave it at that. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. This is not the little page love. This is big love. They're worth waiting for because they're worth fighting for because they check off all of your boxes and they have love and respect for you. All right, Gemini. 
good luck with this person. Where'd it go? Where's our, where'd our, we lost our tower. <laughs> good luck with your tower person. Let me find our tower. Cause we gotta go back to that. Cause that's break up, shake up. There it is. You're gonna have to deal with that. Just noting, you're gonna have to deal with that. All right, Gemini. Love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy Kiss Kiss. Mwah. And I shall see you again soon. Worth fighting for. Look, look for it. Wait for it. It's on the way. We'll see you later. <laughs>